Hello everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, and this is the fourth edition of the Atlas Earth Optimal Strategy Guide. This video is for those who at least have a rudimentary understanding of the game Atlas Earth and what to do. Basically, you know, if you know how to get an ad to get Atlas Bucks and boost. Though I do recommend looking at the previous video, the basic how-to guide in full before going to this video. Everything is as of August 2024, and the third edition created in late September 2023 is now deprecated. By the end of this video, you should have a pretty good idea, depending on your tier, the best strategy to make the most money you can in Atlas Earth. Uh, also depending on what region you are and how much money you plan to spend. Also, a uh, fair warning, this is going to get extremely math heavy. So if you're not into math, I will have a briefing towards the very end that tells you the whole strategy in a nutshell based on what tier you in based on the country. So one thing I want to talk about first before we get started is terms. Uh, terms that I'm going to use for this strategy guide. And we're going to first talk about parcel power. So you'll hear me mention the term parcel power a lot. If you're a regular of this channel, you know I use the phrase parcel power a lot. And yeah, so what is parcel power? Well, parcel power is simply the number of parcels you have times your current boost here. Parcel power will be directly proportional to how much money you can make over a given amount of time in the game, given an average parcel of zero point and then eight zeros, one five eight per second. Which if you want to know how we came up with that number, uh, I do have a link to a video on expected value that explains this that I did about a month ago. So we're gonna make a parcel power of one equal to a single unboosted average parcel. 30 boosted parcels in Canada, for example, would be 30 times the boost tier multiplier of 20, so your parcel power is 600. We can also multiply this by rarity of parcels, but I've decided to x nay on that because we now have an Atlas Earth calculator, thanks to KC Fan, that will help us with that. Um, I also have a backup resource uh, you can use with Google Sheets. Uh, if you just go to File and make a copy before using it, however, they will give slightly different results, though just a forewarning. Also, finally, a change from the previous edition, when I used the terms newbie, regular, and whale, they are now deprecated as well. Newbie will now be referred to as an early game player, regular is now a mid game player, and whale is now an end game player. Whales now will actually refer to those who have spent a lot of money on the game. In the past, it was impossible to get to the 2x tier without putting down a lot of money. Today, though, there's a lot of players who have broken 2x tier, especially in the US, without having to spend a dime, mostly with mini games, maybe with other things like Explorers Club as well, which I guess is spending a dime too. So thus, this is the reason for the rename. The cutoffs I'm giving for each of the three current tiers of Atlas Earth are as follows. I would say that in the US region, I would make the early game players the top tier, and for other non-US players, the top two tiers. So in the U.S., that would mean up to 150 parcels. For global, it's 100, and for Mexico tier, 85. The reason for this is because the parcel power at the 20x tier is so tiny, you're better off moving to the next tier with minimal effort and staying there. I mean, you make significantly more. We're talking uh, 1,500 parcel power for a global tier max 15x compared to 1,200 at max 20x, and for Mexico tier 1,275 at 15x compared to 1,000 at 20x. Mid-game players would be any remaining players that are not in the 2x tier, so that is 1,500 parcels and below for US players, 450 for global players, and 400 for Mexico tier players, and finally endgame is anyone in the 2x tier, and safely making it without having to uh, give up any sort of cost from the 3x tier. Now that you know the terms, let's go over the paths. Like in the third edition, there are still three paths which you can customize to your liking, but I find these being the most optimal depending on your goals, and they are the whale path, the complete free-to-play path, and the free-to-play plus path, which is basically free-to-play with Explorers Club. And we're going to talk about them in that order, and also why a second endgame outcome using legendary upgrades that I had kind of teased turned out to not be very desirable. So we'll start with the easiest path to explain, and that's the whale path. The whale path is very similar to what you'd read in the third edition. The optimal strategy here is simply to just put down as much money as you possibly can. However, the most efficient way to do this 
would be to go to the Atlas Earth browser app, sign on, and select the $2,000 54,000 Atlas Bug Pack, which will allow you to put down 540 parcels, or convert roughly 21 to 22 parcels to legendary. This $2,000, or 1999 technically, is in USD and will be converted to your currency exchange of choice, do not worry. To get to the end game, we first need to put in a few assumptions. We will assume they got a referral and 200 bonus Atlas Bucks for that, plus the 250 for the start for tutorial, the notifications, phone number, and texts. Now, in the US, you need 1500 parcels to get into the 3x tier, which will give you an average of $51.64 a month. The 2x break even amount for this is 1720 parcels, or 172,000 Atlas Bucks. With 101 badges of 20,200 Atlas Bucks, subtracting 450 Atlas Bucks for the starting Atlas Bucks that we get, and that means that we would require 191,750 Atlas Bucks. To get this, you'll need three $1,999.54,000 Atlas Buck packages, plus one $999.99.26,000 Atlas Buck package, plus one $999.99.2550 Atlas Buck package, plus one $399.99.990 Atlas Buck package, plus two four ninety nine one hundred and ten Atlas Buck packages for a total of $7,146.95. Hey y'all, this is Pharaoh Silver in editing mode. I wanted to mention that, in fact, there is an even bigger package now, at least for US players, and it is the $499.99.99.140,000 Atlas Buck package that I left out of the original Optimal Strategy Guide. So, actually, how much it would cost is even easier, in fact. You just take one of the $499.99.99.140,000 Atlas Buck package, plus one $1,999.54,000 Atlas Buck package, and that's it. Yeah, you get about 2,000 Atlas Bucks extra, roughly. Actually, like 2,250. But uh, it is cheaper than if you just went through that entire algorithm to try to get the exact amount. And that gets you $6,998.99. So yeah, just letting you know it is even cheaper now to uh, get to the late game for a US player. All right, back to the guide. In the international tier, you're going to need far less. You only need 450 parcels to get into the 3x boost tier, which will give you an average of $1,549 a month. The 2x break-even amount for this is only 515 parcels, which would require 51,050 Atlas Bucks, uh, taking away 450 for the start, of course. Add 101 badges at 20,200 Atlas Bucks, and that would require 71,250 Atlas Bucks. To get this, you'll need one $1,999.54,000 Atlas Buck package, plus three of the one ninety nine ninety nine fifty one fifty Atlas Buck packages, plus two $39.99.990 Atlas Buck packages, and that will leave you with 180 extra Atlas Bucks for a total of $2,678.95. Finally, in the Mexico tier, 400 parcels get you in the 3x boost tier max for an average of $13.76 a month. The 2x break-even amount for this is 460 parcels, which would require 45,550 Atlas Bucks, and then we'll add 101 badges for a total of 65,750 Atlas Bucks. And to get this, you're going to need one of the $1,999 packages, plus two of the $199.99 packages, plus one of the $39.99 packages, plus four of the $499.110 Atlas Buck packages, and you'll have 20 Atlas Bucks remaining for a total of $2,458.93. Okay, so now is the time I'm going to go into a little bit of a tangent because I want to talk about those legendary upgrades. Um, so yeah, if you want to skip this, you can just go to the following timestamp, uh, and then we can move on to the next path. So anyways, it's pretty easy to calculate how many Atlas Bucks you'd have to buy, but advance notice, I do not recommend this path for whales. Um, we're going to go ahead and assume our normal 22 hours of boosting except 24-7 boosting when we're doing our ROIs because you're going to need some sleep. The object of this strategy is going to be we're going to get to the end of the early game and then instead of the mid game being continuing to gather parcels, 
we're going to turn the current parcels that we have, all of them, legendary. And I'm also going to assume that you get the average number of legendaries for a parcel. So, 150 parcels means you're looking at about 7 or 8 legendaries. I think I'm leaning towards 7 for this one. If you're in the global tier, it's a little bit easier. 5% of 100 is 5 legendary parcels. And then in the Mexico tier, 5% of 85 is roughly 4 legendary parcels. All right. Now we've gotten to that. Uh, for U.S. players, it's 14,550 Atlas Bucks to receive your first 150 parcels, given, of course, you do all of the starting bonus stuff. It's another 20,200 to get your 101 badges, and assuming the expected value of 7 legendary parcels, you will need 143 legendary parcel upgrades, which times 2,500 makes 357,500 Atlas Bucks. Add them together it is 392,250 Atlas Bucks. And this will involve buying this many packages, I'm about seven of the $1,999 packages, two of the 5150, 199 packages, one of the 2550, one of the 990, and four 110 Atlas Buck packages, coming out to $14,552.92, and you will never have to play the game again outside of boosting. At $64.17 a month, you could see returns in approximately 18 years, 11 months. For international players, it's 9,550 Atlas Bucks to receive your 100 parcels, 20,200 to get 101 badges, and assuming the expected value of 5 legendary parcels, you're going to need 95 upgrades, which costs 237,500 Atlas Bucks. So we're going to add them together for 267,250 Atlas Bucks. And this is going to require four of the 1999 upgrades, one of the 999 upgrades, four of the $199 upgrades, one of the 9999 upgrade, two of the 3999, and one of the 110 499 upgrade. And you're going to need 10 Atlas Bucks. I mean, you can go ahead and watch five ads. That's fine. Um, anyway, you can watch them while putting down your 150 parcels even for a total of $9,980.91. At $24.61 a month, you'll get your money back in around 33 years, nine and a half months. Finally, for Mexico tier players, it is 8,050 Atlas Bucks for your 85 parcels. Of course, the usual 20,200 for the badges. And expected value is four legendary parcels, so you're gonna need 81 upgrades, which costs 202,500 Atlas Bucks. Adding them all together, you will get 230,750 Atlas Bucks. This will require four 1999 of the 54K upgrades, two of the 5150 upgrades, one of the 2550 upgrades, two of the 990s, and that's about it for a total of $8,575.95 in USD. This will earn you $20.92 a month, and you'll get your money back in about 34 years, 2 months. So yeah, it might be more worth it in this case to just go ahead and keep buying the parcels with the Atlas Bucks instead, in my opinion. In the US, you could buy 3,575 parcels, which using the reverse parcel calculator, gets you about $115.70 a month, which is almost double. Global tier, you could buy 2,375 parcels, which will get you $76.83 a month, which I believe is like over triple. And similar with the Mexico tier, you'd buy 2,307 parcels for $74.65 a month, which is actually getting into quadruple territory. To me, the legendary endgame plan is only if for some reason you're not able to get out of the house and need to stick to a particular area, or if we're at the stage where minting new parcels becomes scarce. Otherwise, if you're even semi-active or you're watching this sometime before 2050, I recommend just getting more parcels instead, okay? So that's enough of the tangent. Let's move on to the next path, the free-to-play path. So the free-to-play path is a little more complicated than last time, mainly because we no longer have just U.S. players playing. We have three different tiers of players that play this game now, and so the concept of parcel power is stronger than ever. At the start, not much has changed for everyone. You're going to want as many free Atlas Bucks as you can. Go to the basic how-to guide to show you how to get, you know, your starting Atlas Bucks basically of up to 450. I'm not going to repeat it here. Um, however, I will give advice because I think I forgot to put this on the how-to guide. Before you get your second parcel, uh, place that six-character referral code in so that way you get that extra 250 
a 200 Atlas Bucks. My bad. So anyways, we're going to get to that point where you get that 200 Atlas Buck bonus at around 11 parcels. So that means that you have gotten the one free in the tutorial and you have bought 10 more. Atlas Earth will reward you with 200 free Atlas Bucks. So you just go ahead and put down two more parcels. So that puts you at 13. Now once you've hit the 13 parcel mark, your next step is basically getting to 40 parcels as fast as you can. The money you make in the first dozen or two parcels is very minimal. Focus on taking any dollar in your bankroll and reinvesting it back through those big 33 Atlas Buck to $1 events, or if it's December, the 40 one, basically. So uh, get those next 27 parcels or so as fast as you can. Then get yourself another 200 so that you can buy your first badge. It doesn't matter which badge you buy at this level, but I do recommend that you get the city badge because you can get the state badge or the country badge at any time. And to me, the smaller the area of the badge, the higher the priority because you never know when you're going to get back to get it. Once there, the next step should be getting to the maximum amount of your first tier. So 150 if you live in the US, 50 if you live in Mexico, and 60 if you live anywhere else. Same strategy, I would suggest reinvesting to get to that max first tier. And at this point, if you live in the U.S., you should be making around $18 to $20 a month, Mexico tier about $4 to $5 a month, and $5 to $6 a month everywhere else. Now, this is where we're going to diverge. I'm going to start with U.S. players first. Now, I know Tasty Wallets guys are going to say otherwise, but I'm still a firm believer in trying to max out your badges to a tier as much as you can. And if you want to check the how-to guides in the badges section, that will show you exactly how many badges you need to get to the next tier. So for most of you, that's probably only going to be 11 or 31 badges for tier 2 or tier 3. If you travel a lot or plan to do a road trip, might be wise to build up Atlas Bucks to buy badges on the way to get yourself to the top tier. But max out badges to a particular tier, this one is arbitrary and really depends on your situation. Now at this point, once we are at the top tier, we're going to want to start looking at break-even tier. In the past, we used to have to calculate this by hand, but KC Fan's Atlas Earth Calculator actually has a table called the Boost Break-Even Chart, which allows us to see how many parcels we have to buy in order to get the same amount that we would earn dollar-wise as the tier before. So to get from 150 to 220 in the United States... You could just buy up to 7,000 Atlas Bucks and play 70 parcels at once if you want. Or the break-even chart says that you can buy up to only 6,100 and play 61 parcels. And with Super Rent Boost events, you'll make the same money as if you stayed in the 30x tier. Unless you get really unlucky. Now, once you've hit a break-even tier, you can go ahead and spend one parcel at a time buying single parcels until you max out in your tier. Although if you're really good at mini games, I would suggest kind of saving the Atlas Bucks for mini games. And then once you get your payout, use that money and the profits to go and buy parcels. Reinvesting is up to you, but at this point, I don't think it would be very necessary. If you want to go ahead and start cashing out, you can, as long as you're in the US tier anyway. Now, global tier and Mexico tier players are the opposite. You're going to want to focus on getting to the second tier first any way you can, in a similar way that you got to the first tier, which is 85 parcels for Mexico tier players and 100 parcels for everyone else outside of the U.S. The reason is the parcel power difference in the U.S. between the first two tiers actually is a drop. Without super rent boosts, it's actually advantageous to stay in 150 parcels because your parcel power is at 4,500, compared to 4,400 maxed out at 20x, and then even lower on 15x. And if you had an abnormally good first 150 parcels, it might even be good to just build up to get to 15x max of 290 parcels, or even the 12x max. I mean, you might not make money actually at 220 parcels if your luck streak ran out. For global players, though, different story. Like I said in the whale path, parcel power is 1,200 for global tier players at 20x max, and it increases to 1500 at 15x max. And it remains the same at 10x max. Now Mexico tier goes from 1000 at 20x max to 1275 at 15x max. Use the break even method I mentioned earlier to help ease the transition a little bit easier, but that transition of going down in tier should not be that bad for you. 
Once there, Mexico tier players can go ahead and focus on badges, but if global tier players want, they could consider going down another tier to 10x, since the parcel power remains the same. I'm going to leave that up to the player though. I mean, the advantage of doing that is that it would be more effective for your super rent boost events, and you would actually end up making more money that way. Uh, a lot of it too, though, is also based on luck. Like, if you're currently in a tier and you have an abnormally high amount of legendaries, you might want to stay in the tier you're in for as long as you can. Once you've gotten the badges to where you want, continue following your break-even chart until you reach 2x in the endgame. For US players, the endgame should be at around 1710 to 1725 parcels. For Mexico players, it's 450 to 460, and for global players, it's 510 to 520, depending on the settings that you use in KC Fan's Atlas Earth Calculator, and also based on how lucky you are as well. Now for the free-to-play plus route. So the focus of the free-to-play plus route is that you are willing to put down $50 a month to take part in the Explorer Club, providing the best balance because you are making the best use of your money, and what little money that you know you're going to be putting into the game as the explorer club by far provides the best value of atlas bucks per dollar however there are some requirements we need to get in order to join the club and that's where our focus will be here so right off the bat you're going to receive 250 atlas bucks when you start the game and of course you know you're going to have 200 but we're not going to be looking at that bonus because what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead, use 100 of it to buy land, so we'll have 150 left over. Now, you want to acquire 850 more Atlas Bucks for a total of 1,000. Now, with that 1,000 Atlas Bucks, you're going to go ahead and buy the three badges that you should have, the city, state, and country near you, and then go to the next two towns over to get two more badges. You're going to need five of them. Now, once you're done, you're going to want to log into the browser, go to Buy Bucks, and then join now on the Explorer Club. It is $49.99 a month and does translate depending on your currency, which is always constantly changing. Once done, you will now have added login bonuses, which each day you will receive said bonus. It is recommended that you try to get to the 1,000 Atlas Bucks before you hit a big day, like day 6, 13, or 29. If you are doing the login bonuses, getting 850 Atlas Bucks by Day 7 might seem a little bit too much of a challenge, especially if you're not in the United States. So, you know, maybe Day 29 would be a good set goal for it, so that way you can pick up that 550 Atlas Buck bonus for Day 30. No matter what, you will get 91 Atlas Bucks a day at minimum instead of just one, and of course the bonuses on those landmark days in Days 7, 14, 30, 60, and 90. Now, you want to use the Explorer Club basically until you hit the optimal tier that you can enter mid-game. So for US players, that is 150 parcels. And for Mexico tier players, 85 and global tier 100. Although, again, global tier can be 100 or 150. I'm going to leave that up to you. But in this case, I do lean toward weaning off of Explorer Club as soon as possible. So 100. The sooner you can get there, the sooner you can get off and make your money back. Though a lot of players will just keep the Explorer Club. Look, I'll never recommend you losing money in this game or putting any money at all into this game. I would only recommend getting off Explorer's Club and then whatever you got, cash out as much as you can until you can get back to even. Just a note though that even though the Explorer Club is especially helpful for non-US players as they have less access to get free Atlas Bucks... For every month you buy the Explorer Club, it will take you about two and a half to four times as long as a US player to break even. An early game US player should be making on average about $24 a month, while a Mexico tier player would make only $7 a month, and a global tier player nine a month if stopping at 100 parcels, or 10 a month if stopping at 150, and this is assuming the max 101 badges. So a US player can break even in a little over two months for each month that they are in the Explorer Club, while a global tier player would need about five and a half months and a Mexico tier player seven. So plan accordingly. However, eventually you will be making enough depending on tier that the Explorer Club should start paying for itself. In the US tier, you'll be finding this being a thing at the late mid game around the 3x tier, around the 1300 to 1400 parcel mark. And for non-US players, they will not be seeing this until they are well into the end game in the 2x tier at around 2,000 to 2,100. And another post edit. I forgot to add how quickly it might take you to reach your goal depending on the tier. 
So I'm going to add that on here right now. And we're going to assume uh, you watch 30 ads a day and get an average of 10 Atlas bucks a day from the wheel. So that means in the US tier, you earn 70 Atlas bucks a day and elsewhere 40. For the US tier, I'm going to assume that you start Explorer Club on day 14, as I had mentioned earlier in the video, and for everyone else, day 30. We will also assume you don't reinvest. So, you know, this is going to be like the slowest possible considering this pace. And I'm going to take two scenarios. I'm going to take a scenario where you cut off Explorer Club at one badge and then another to get to 101. So if you're in the US tier, you will need 147 parcels. You get two parcels free with the referral bonus at this point because you will be buying your 10th parcel eventually. And oh yeah, don't forget the badge as well for a total of 14,900 Atlas Bucks minimum. And then for another 100 badges, we can up that to 34,900. So for the minimum, you will get to 150 parcels, one badge, about 76 days later, right on day 90, which will use up three months worth of the Explorer Club membership. And if you dragged it to max badges, we can add another 104 days on top of it, giving you about six months of Explorer Club membership. In the global tier, you will need 97 parcels on a badge for a total of 9,900 Atlas Bucks minimum and 29,900 if you're going to go for max badges. So in this case, we're going to start at day 30. You'll hit 9,900 Atlas Bucks after about two months of Explorer Club if you stick to just one badge. And basically, it's going to be the same pace, give or take, maybe another week or two. Um, actually, it will be another month or so. So that will cost you another four and a half months if you're trying to add on badges with the Explorer Club. And the Mexico tier would only be about 10 days less than the global tier, so I'm not going to calculate that. So that gives you a good idea just how much it would take you to get to the mid game in full with max badges. So overall, I would say something like around six to seven months of the Explorer Club membership. So again, plan accordingly. So to summarize, the three paths are as follows. The whale path is the simplest. You just buy parcels, buy badges when able, and avoid buying legendary upgrades as they will only slow you down. The free to play path is dependent on where you live. No matter what, Get to 40 parcels, buy your first badge, reinvest every dollar. Then if you live in the United States, you want to get to 150, which is max 30x, before you stop reinvesting and you want to start cashing out. And then you start buying badges as well. Mexico tier, you want to get to 85, which is max 15x. And global tier, your choice. 100 parcels at max 15x or 150 parcels at max 10x if you've had worse than normal luck up to this point. Uh, then buy badges up until the tier that you're able, uh, just like the US, depending on your travel plans. And then in the mid game, you're going to want to focus on the break even tiers by saving up Atlas bucks until you hit a break even tier. Then you buy parcels individually until you get to the max tier, the maximum amount of parcels for that tier. Um, of course, if you are a non US player, you will have been doing that already in the early game anyway, at least for a tier or two. Finally, a free-to-play plus path, that's a tongue twister there, should be getting to 1,000 Atlas Bucks as fast as you can and buying five badges. Buy the Explorer Club, and then staying in the Explorer Club for as long as you are in the early game before weaning off of it, and then earning it back through cash outs. Now once you're in the mid game, you can follow the same path as the free-to-play route, and whether or not you want to use Explorer Club or not, I'm just going to leave that up to you. If you want to take a different, more methodical route with parcels or badges, please check out Tasty Wallet's guides as well. Him and I have different schools of thought on this, and his way might be a little more your style, uh, depending. If you need help, just ask anyone around the Beer Money Network. Myself, Tasty Wallet, are both admins over at the Beer Money Network. AJ Downtown, my good friend there, and Midnight B11 are also admins there. And to my opinion, this is just my opinion, we have the best community on the internet. It's very chill, as AJ would say. Um, yeah, you will definitely enjoy it if you ever need help on Atlas Earth or any other beer money app of any sort. They are, they're always there to help out. Everyone there from the presidents and governors there to moderators to just like even like junior members, you know, members that have just arrived will come and help out here and there as well. You will absolutely enjoy it, in my opinion. Um, there's also YouTube channels that focus on Atlas Earth, like the Atlas Reality channel, of course, uh, this channel, Beer Money Engine, uh, the Beer Money Network, that's AJ's channel, Tasty Wallet's channel, 
I've seen Bronze Dragon Gaming as well talk about it a lot as well. Um, go check them all out. And I bet between now and next year, I'm going to find half a dozen more resources for this game as well. So uh, I'm pretty sure I'll have a huge bunch of channels to talk about then too when I make this got the fifth edition guide. So that is the video. This was a very long video, especially with the expansions of new regions. Also, if the names of the U.S., Global, and Mexico tiers ever change, just follow the names of the three tiers in the how-to guide. Uh, just match them to that, and I'll also have a pinned comment showing those changes if that ever happens, because I got a feeling that there's a decent chance Korea and Japan might be joining the U.S. tiers. Let's see if I'm right. In the meantime, please give this a like and subscribe to Beer Money Engine. Comment whatever you want. And I hope to see you in future videos. Bye, everyone. This is Feral Silver signing out.